well after 50 years in the world's most famous soap opera. Today's final guest holds the accolade of being the planet's longest serving television actor. But if he tires of the title, we can always call him the Cory Casanova. With four marriages and 27 girlfriends notched on his bedpost, it's surprising that the Barlow, Barlow bedroom hasn't been featured much up until now. Please stuff, please welcome William Roach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For, for Corrie fans, it's something a bit special because these are scenes that you filmed just for the website, is that right? Yes, it's the first time I've been in bed with Deirdre. <laughs> <laughs> We've been together and we really? spent three days uh, in bed uh, <laughs> shooting, shooting those scenes. But what was nice is when they were changing the shots in between, we could have a little snooze. <laughs> and, uh, but it was, it was quite hard work. We've done ten of them and they're beautifully written by Jonathan Harvey. And uh, they're just inconsequential gossip, but uh, inconsequential gossip about it is very important because it has to reflect what the relationship mm. is and how mm. you are and it was good to do but as always there was little not enough time you know yeah. you never get enough time to work on it but lovely it's yeah. the first isn't it bill that curry's ever done anything like this uh yeah because it's for the internet it's only on the internet oh, right. so you can only get it by getting out the website and there's 10 of them and they're going to be a new one released each monday two are already available and the other eight will be coming out. It would out make later. a great spin off on the telly, well, would wouldn't they? Yeah, I think. But, but I think the internet's a new thing, and, yeah, and, and this is uh, what they're trying to sort of get people to, to watch that. Um, yeah, it will be great to feed back into the street yeah. and actually what, what see our Earth bedroom. Why has Ken there? not been in bed with Deirdre in the I 35 know. years <laughs> they've been married? What is going on in that relationship? <laughs> well, is that uh, the secret to their say, long you, success? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we've, all, we've both been in bed with other people. You uh, have, yeah. you yeah. especially. Yeah. Yes, so what did you think when they first put the idea to you? Do you think well, was... you know, I mean, in the Barlows, we've got, I've got my alcoholic bigamist son I've got my, my daughter who's a murderess and you, usually in the Barlows it's all sort of weeping and wailing so mm. it's really nice to have some little scenes that are just all on the comedy side and Jonathan's such a, an amazing oh, writer and as you know comedy is actually it has to be very neat and yeah. precise and you need a lot of time to mm. do it we didn't get enough time but they're very good I, we enjoyed doing them well you have such a fantastic relationship with Anne Cope, oh right? Annie, Annie's lovely mm. she's, a, she's a lovely person she's a big earth mother she's always if you want a pill for a headache, she got that, you know, in a handbag. Boils you got everything the there. And you uh, know each other inside we, we, out, don't well, you? Inside well, inside out. Very. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, yeah, 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 after, uh, after three, day, yes. three days in bed, yeah, you do know each other inside out. The John so, and Yoko of Weatherfield. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, but, well, we do, we do know each other very well, so that, that side of it was just totally natural um, uh, and came very easily, yes. Because uh, so. <laughs> you often get into bed with actors that you don't know, but you didn't have any... Well, you, well, you do. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you didn't have any of well, that. Well, as actors, you never know. I mean, my, uh, Stephanie Beecham and Joanna Lumley oh, and things yes. like that, yes. So, but, uh, yeah. uh, no, Deirdre's lovely, and I think Ken and Deirdre, whatever they've done, they love each other mm. and they care about each other. And, and Jonathan Harvey has brought out those little nuances. Yeah. Although Ken tries to be the intellectual, Stephanie Beecham, character on the barge, was the woman of his dreams. Yes. There she was, a beautiful intellectual woman, but when, when it came to the crunch, he couldn't do it. Push he, comes to shove, you see, yes, back it. to No, Deirdre. no, back to Deirdre. <laughs> so they are soulmates, and, and although he's always going on about wanting to read his books and she's always wanting to watch these shopping channels, they, they love each other. Yeah. That, that's the important that's thing, isn't it? Well, oh. you did talk about the state of your slightly dysfunctional on-screen family, and um, um, the big storyline at the moment is obviously... Your son, Peter, he's, he's not in a good way, is he? Let's take a look at where we're he's at. He's never in a good way, <laughs> is he? <laughs> you can forgive her, Peter. I loved her. I loved her. I loved her. I know. I loved her. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> He's, uh, he's such a good actor, Chris yeah. Gascoigne. He, he, he's, he's great to work with. But, yeah, no, you know, I can't get over the writers on the street. They're just absolutely brilliant. They keep, we do five shows a week, 50 years, you know, it's had that. And, and the writing is as strong and as good as ever. Mm. And, and we saw a couple... Well, how long ago was it that your sons were on the street? Oh, but, but my two real sons, James yeah. and Linus, uh, last year. Yeah, last and, year. And, uh, yeah, there they are. And uh, James is coming back in. Is he? Uh, starts filming in a week's time, so it'll be in about two months' time. He's coming back for about a two-month period. Oh. So that's lovely. So well, that's I mean, lovely for you. So after yeah, doing it for, nice for so long, Bill, do you ever get up in the morning and think, oh, 
judged that enough now. You know, I don't. It's true Ever. to say, I really don't. And after 50 years, I think it's more exciting now. It's a, you know, it's a very happy place to be. Very, yeah. There's no nonsense at work. Everybody gets on. Everybody, right down the crew, everyone. We all get on well. It's a happy place to be. Hope it gives a lot of pleasure to the public mm, out does, there. Yeah. And um, it's just lovely to be in. A, I'm very lucky to be in work, but to be in work... Over with, the 50 years, how come everybody's aged except you? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're honestly. very kind. You're very kind. I don't know. No, it's know. not kind. How? I'm, I'm going to say now your age because it will make the audience gasp. <laughs> Seventy-eight. <laughs> Actually, 79. Seventy-nine. Yeah. 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 Seventy-nine in April. Seventy-nine in April. Yeah. My goodness. Is it, is, it work? is it the work that No, I think you? it's bad living that's good bad for you. Bad living, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I don't, do any, don't do the right thing. Just Bodes well for you, every, Carol. Everything in moderation. <laughs> you know, it's like you were talking about drinking earlier. A little drink and a bit of fun is good, but getting drunk is not. Uh, you feel bad yeah. and you make the air in the wrong. I've got a question no, for you here, Bill. Enjoy yourself, uh, enjoy yourself. This is from Tommy. It says, if you could bring back... And think about this seriously. Yeah. If you could bring back a character from the street history <laughs> to return to the cobbles who would it be and why well present <laughs> i was going to say present company accepted of course yes. uh blanche oh ah. yes. i mean you know the the uh, maggie jones uh, her comedy timing uh, uh, that uh, the alcoholics anonymous meeting oh. was <laughs> classic yes. uh, Coronation Street humour isn't being funny. It's taking a very serious situation, like the Alcoholics Anonymous, which is a wonderful organisation, and someone like Blanche saying, what are you all whinging about? You know, the wonderful lines. Oh, that thank you, can... you so much. Really? We couldn't agree more, but thank you so much for it's coming It's not finishing. By today. It's we not finishing. No. Because we've got important oh, no. news. Before we say goodbye to you, Bill, well, uh, we've got a friend dropping by tomorrow. Guess who's back on the panel for one day only? Jay McDonald. That's live tomorrow, 12.30. Bye-bye. <laughs>